The big guy is about to make his trip around the world, but will there be a white Christmas where you live? I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegas, and if you're new here, we talk and track all things weather. In this video, we are going to break down who has the best shot at seeing a white Christmas this year. I'm going to start with the probability map in case you want to show your kids. I won't waste your time on that. But if you do want to see the meteorology behind it, stick around. If you are a fan of cold and snow, you're going to love this. The second half of December looks rocking. Here we go. <laughs> Believe it or not, there is an actual definition of a white Christmas. To get one, you need one inch of snow on the ground already on Christmas morning or an inch of snow falling during the day on Christmas Day. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, Florida, we are not going to see a white Christmas this year. I know. Terrible joke. All right. I know there's a lot of color on this map. Your eyes are going to be drawn everywhere. I'm going to bust out my trusty telestration, and we are going to start with the lower percentages first and gradually work our way up to the likelihood of a white Christmas. So you see this white color extends all the way down. This is going to be greater than 10% chance. Still that slight opportunity category from 11% to 25%. It does include Texas, parts of the higher elevations of uh, New Mexico into Arizona through Arkansas even. If you stick around towards the end of the video, I will explain why I think we have a decent shot at least having some snow on Christmas in parts of the Southern Plains. Even parts of Northwest Tennessee getting through Kentucky and then into the mountains of Virginia, the Blue Ridge Mountains, and then over into West Virginia as well. All right, so now we increase our probability further. This is the blue color now, the greater than 25% chance all the way up to 50%. So now we're in the possible range here, and there's a lot of us. Again, I think we're going to be cold and stormy. This is going to be through northern Nevada into Utah, and then most of Colorado, and then even the northern tip here of the panhandle of Texas into Oklahoma through Missouri, and then up into the far reaches of northern Kentucky and into parts of West Virginia. That is the possible stage. Now, we are going to get into that pink color. And if you're really excited about a white Christmas, or for the probability anyway, we want looking for the pink colors here. This is greater than 50%, from 51% to 75%. And I call this the looking good category. And that is going to extend from the eastern Dakotas, into the extreme northeast corner of Nebraska, including Iowa, down through the middle part, central Illinois, into a lot of Indiana, through Ohio, into Pennsylvania, and then as we get into the interior side of New England. Again, if you want to stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to explain why I don't have those higher probabilities for places like New York City into New Jersey, at least coastal areas along I-95. I'm going to break that down in detail, at least how it looks right now, closer towards the end of the video in a couple of minutes. But right now, I think it's the interior and the Great Lakes region. If you saw my winter outlook forecast that I posted a couple of weeks ago, and again, I'll include that link for you in the description and also put it up top here. Wait till the end of the video to watch that. I talked about the worst of the winter being right here in the Great Lakes area, and certainly we have seen that so far already with a very active lake effect season. Anyway, on to the highest probabilities now, and that is going to be in the purple. I'm not forgetting about you guys in this Sierra Nevada. We are going to have a white Christmas there. We just got crazy amounts of snow uh, over the past few days, and we are going to keep that here. So that's why I haven't talked about you guys yet, because we are going to have that uh, pretty much guaranteed here through the Sierra Nevadas and into the Cascades. Seattle, again, we're going to be on the outside of that in the lower elevations, of course. But then the higher elevations into Idaho, Wyoming, the Rockies, uh, western Wyoming, western Montana as well on the west side of the United States. Now, going to the eastern side of the United States, you see where we have this purple. Again, that is going to be in northern Wisconsin into western Michigan, right along the lakes here. The Lake Effect Snow Machine likely still going to crank up again. And then from places like Cleveland, Erie, Pennsylvania, into upstate New York, Vermont, and interior Maine, that's where I've given a greater than 75% chance for a white Christmas. That is going to be the very likely category. Again, we're going to be watching this closely. I'm going to post another one of these videos in about 10 days or so, 
to fine-tune the forecast as we are waiting for things to kind of come together over the next couple of weeks. So, are you excited about that? Do you want to see a white Christmas? Post that in the comments below. Also include where you are watching from. Also, if you are enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. Those are my thoughts as of December 6th. Now we are going to go really, really deep here and take a look at some of the teleconnections or some of the clues or signals that the atmosphere is giving us pointing to a cold and stormy end of December. The first is the Arctic Oscillation. This basically monitors the polar vortex you hear so much about and determines if there will be a supply of Arctic air or not. When the AO is negative, Arctic air spills southward. If you like winter weather, you want this to be negative. The AO is forecast to be negative through at least the third week of December. The second is the North Atlantic Oscillation. If you like snow, you want this one to be negative too. A negative NAO means there is blocking over Greenland, which promotes storminess in the eastern U.S. It jams up the flow a little bit. The AO is expected to remain negative through at least the third week of December. If you're keeping track at home, we're two for two. The third is the Eastern Pacific Oscillation. This one deals with cross-polar flow or the ability for Arctic air to spill into the lower 48. When it's negative, a ridge builds over Alaska, guiding the colder air southward. Record highs were just shattered in Alaska. I'll say there's a ridge there. We're three for three. The last teleconnection is the Pacific North American pattern. This one we want positive. It means there's a ridge out west and a trough in the east. That means cold and snow to the eastern two-thirds of the country. This one is expected to be about neutral by the third week of December. This map here kind of sums up those numbers and those charts that we just took a look at. Basically, every single oscillation is in full display here. You see this big chunk of red. Here's Greenland up here. That's where we have the Greenland block, the indication of that negative North Atlantic oscillation. It was certainly a little more negative on the early side of December. It's going to be trending a little more positive, but we are still expecting to have blocking there as we go through the third week of December. The next thing that is very clear here is the ridging over Alaska. That is going to be your negative EPO again, which helps that cross-polar flow as the heights build here, that sends that real cold air right over the poles and into the lower 48. The one thing that we are going to be watching is how the PNA sets up. Remember, it was kind of neutral towards the second half of December, and it was kind of negative for the first half of the month. As we take a look really towards the middle of December, where I have these charts stopped, notice where the cold is. Again, the lower than normal heights right in here. That is because at this time we have the negative PNA at this point, meaning that we have a little bit of ridging still out on the eastern side of the country, and all the cold is here. If you recall from the official forecast, at least my official forecast, on who is the best shot of seeing a white Christmas, I do think it's going to be in inland New England again, and then through parts of the nation's heartland because of... We don't have a completely positive PNA. So I do think while we have a shot, because we kind of have to see how the environment and the atmosphere shakes out over the next couple of weeks, and that's why I'm going to do an updated one of these by about the 15th or 16th of December. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to fine-tune things a little bit. Anyway, I think at this point anyway, it's going to be interior New England that has the best shot at the White Christmas along the I-95 corridor, and then again back through parts of Missouri, even into the panhandle of Texas and into Oklahoma, Nebraska, because I think we could generate a storm out here that kind of rides the west coast and then works in this general direction. So those are a few things that we are going to be watching closely. There's going to be some wiggle room here, and I'm going to fine-tune again that forecast for you coming up out about the 15th or 16th in that ballpark. So again, stay tuned for that. So this is the CFS V2 climate model here, and you can see the anomalies, and you can clearly see, again, matching up with kind of what we just talked about here, the blue color representing the colder than normal temperatures here at the surface, and you see where the blue is. And again, this is from the week of December 21st all the way to December 31st, so that last 10 days of 2022 and you see where the cold is really from the interior new england all the way down into parts of the deep south and even into the southern plains again extending of course well into minnesota nebraska oklahoma 
Kansas as well as we start to try to warm things up in the West just a little bit. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you like what you saw, again, please hit that thumbs up button. If you love talking and tracking the weather, we would love to have you in this weather community. Please hit the subscribe button. If you hit that little bell, you're going to be notified anytime we post new content. Another white Christmas update coming in about two weeks. Again, as we get closer to Christmas, going to fine tune that forecast that I showed you earlier in this video. And again, if you subscribe and hit that alert bell, you'll be notified when we post that content and all the content we put out on this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.